So let's talk a little bit now about how you combat a Blue Monday. And I've got some ideas that I'd like to share with you. One way that you can combat a blue day or a day of depression is to do or learn something new. Your brain gets a surprising strong kick from something new, something different, something, something unexpected. And they don't have to be all that different. Just something as simple as uh, brushing your teeth with the opposite hand, or if you shave your face or your legs, use a, use a different hand or do one side first that you normally would not do first. Number two, you could create some distance. If you think back on the problems that you had a year ago, do they feel as tough today as they did when you were in the middle of them? Probably not. And so a good way to create a little distance is for you to say, how will this look? How will this feel a year from now? Number three, if you want to help combat blue Mondays or down days, uh, be sure to handle disagreements well. Don't make things worse just because things are not going well for you. You can see if there's ways that both of you could be right. If there's ways that if you look at things this way, they're correct. And if you look at things this way, you're correct. Or is there common ground or is there a common goal that both of you are trying for the same thing but coming at it from different directions? Number four, you can do random acts of kindness as a way to, to oppose the blues. Uh, have you ever noticed that you feel really good after you do something nice for someone else? For example, maybe they've asked you for directions on the street and you actually you gave them good directions to the store or the location they're asking for. Don't you feel a good uh, feeling of warmth? What if you're on public transport and you get up to give your seat to someone who needs it more than you? Doesn't that make you feel warm inside? Martin Seligman, eminent psychologist and leading expert on what it takes for human beings to flourish, says, Kindness produces the single most reliable momentary increase in well-being of any exercise that we have tested in our practice. You can lift the way you are thinking by asking yourself one simple question at the end of the day. What went well today? Research has found that when we look back on the experience and consider how good or bad it was, our brain doesn't actually assess every single moment. We tend to average in our minds and our memory just two points the peak and the end. And you can't go back and change how high a peak was, but what you can do is you can be sure and end your day remembering where things went well. And so this is Dr. Rick Janelle encouraging you to become part of a group of people that are committed to helping you deal with the blues. Now remember, it's not just enough to find people who help you. You have to be a part of, of other people that you help in turn. And so the two working together, having a group of people that care for you and love for you and look out for your best interests, in connection with you being part of a group where you add your strengths, these things make a great way to live. And these things are a very powerful way to deal with the blues. So come visit with us soon.